in some cases, you may be a, a spearfishing and you shot a large grouper that's underneath a ledge or he's worked himself down in a hole. If you're free diving, sometimes you'll run out of air before you can get him worked out of that hole. They tend to, to uh, throw out their gill plates and lock themselves in a position. So one of the things that I always uh, have on, on my rig, uh, in my kayak or in my boat, is a pair of lock pliers. And what I do is I, I have a tide bottle and I have a line attached to that tide bottle, which is a float. And I bring the line down with me and I just leave my pole spear down there with the grouper. He's usually not going anywhere. He's locked up in a hole. But I just reach under and I take, and the tip will almost always be deployed anyway out in this fashion. But I'll simply take a pair of lock pliers and I'll lock on the cable and lock it up good and, good and tight so that so it's not going to have any slippage. <clears throat> And then what you do is you simply take and release this cable and then to unlock it, we simply take and line up this small hole with the bead itself. So if I just simply take and rotate that to where that bead is, then the tip will fall right out. So the tip just comes out. So that now you have the cable attached to the pair of lock pliers. Now, there's an area right here in the lock pliers that has a, a, a cutout. And so I take that string and I run the string through and I cinch it up and I bring that tide bottle down as far as I can get it and tie it off and then I just leave and go back and continue to spearfish. Well, in a short period of time, that tide bottle begins to work that uh, uh, grouper out of the hole and pretty soon the tide bottle will pop to the top and what you've got is a pair of lock pliers that's engaged and locked onto the fish. So it gives you the ability to do things that you could normally not do with a, with a standard uh, type of tip.